Welcome on Real Developers. You want to know the difference between the Collapse Nodes, Macros, Functions and when to use them? Stay tuned. First things first, I created a little code I want to explain to you. I bind a key, then I set an integer value to zero, just to ensure it's always zero. I set the name to the name of the operation, something like macro function. Then we will get our integer value, which was set to zero. We will increase it by one and we build a string, which will be printed on the screen. So there are three things we want to cover here. If you select the nodes, you can press the right mouse key and you can select collapse nodes, collapse to function and collapse to macro. That's exactly what I did. The first thing I want to talk about are the collapsed nodes. When do you want to use them? You only use them when you want your code to be tiny. You can't reuse a collapsed node. It will always be a different code. It's really just a tiny representation of the content you can see inside here. So if I copy now this collapsed nodes down here, you can already see that the title changed. It now says collapsed nodes 2. And if I go inside here and I change the code from collapse nodes 1 to 2, it would have been changed inside here if it would have been a macro or a function, but it still says 1. If we are now going to run the code, I need to press X and C, then you will see it says in the first case collapse nodes 1 and in the second case collapse nodes 2. That's because these two nodes have nothing in common. And if you compile your code, they will anyway be replaced with the code that is inside. A macro is very similar to a collapsed node, with the big difference that you can reuse it. So when you change a value inside a macro, it will be changed everywhere where you copy and pasted the macro. So the similarities of these two are you can have multiple input and output execute pins. It supports latent nodes, which means you can use a delay inside of your node. And it is just some kind of a template of the nodes. It will be replaced by the nodes inside of the macro or the collapsed nodes when you compile your code. So the big difference between the macro and the collapsed nodes is the collapse node can't be reused, it is just a tiny representation and the macro can be reused. So go down to our function. A function is very different from that. You can reuse a function, that's a very important part, but there is a lot different things. First of all, when we go inside here, you will see I can't del create a delay node. That's not possible inside a function. I can also not get here multiple execution pipelines. That's also not possible inside a function. But the big advantage of a function is it can be called from an external object. You got here an access specifier, which is by default set to public, which means an external object can call it. An example would be something like if you got a character and you are running across a box and now the box has an event actor begin overlap. Then you are going to cast your third person character, which is where these methods are included. And then you can call from there. You can see when I track down here the line and type my. You got access to my function and my pure function, but you ain't got access to the collapse nodes and you also cannot access the macro. So when we are back here, you can see now here there is a pure function and a common function. So what is the big difference between those two? If you got the function, you can just set here a checkbox and it will be a pure function. But what's the difference between them? I explain you what will happen when I run the code. When I run the code, we have here our execution pipeline. It will set the variable to zero, then it will call the function, run everything we got inside our function, 
then we will go to print string. Print string will print the value that has been returned by my function twice. This uh, print string will print the value of my function, the return value, when it was called. And the same thing will happen here. It also will print the return value of the function we called earlier. And that's the big difference. A pure function will always be called when it is needed. So print string will call the function and get the return value and print it. Same thing will happen here. This print string will call my pure function and will print the return value. So the difference will be here we will get 1, 1 and here we will get 1, 2. Because in that case, if it is a poor function, it will be called twice, one times here, one times here. So let me show you how this looks like. Now we are calling the function and it says twice one. Now we are going to call the pew function and it says one, two. That's exactly what I was talking about. And of course, beside collapsing to a function and collapsing to a macro, you also can create them here on the side. So I hope you now got a picture when to use what. Use uh, collapse nodes only if you want to have a tiny representation and you are not going to reuse it inside your blueprint. If you are going to reuse the code only inside your blueprint and you don't need access from another object, you can use a macro. And here you also got the delay node and you also can have multiple execute in and outputs. And the function is in my opinion the most important because it enables the blueprint communication between them. So this is everything you should need to know to make a decision what you are going to use in your next project. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Like the video.